So I don't believe any Republican has gone on board with the $15 an hour minimum wage increase that the Democratic Party has proposed. Um, they don't care about the working class. This is the party that is constantly trying to do everything in their power to break up unions. So why would they do anything that's even marginally pro-worker? Having said that, though, to try to appear reasonable, Mitt Romney, as well as Tom Cotton, have teamed up to offer a counter-proposal to the peasants. They'll still get crumbs, but maybe a little bit less crumbs than the Democratic Party is proposing. So NBC News' Sahil Kapoor reports, Mitt Romney and Tom Cotton roll out plan to raise the federal minimum wage to $10 per hour incrementally over five years, tied to mandatory e-verify for employers and stricter penalties for hiring people here illegally. Oh, well, I mean, are they not merciful? Are they not reasonable? They don't want to raise the wage to $15 an hour, which isn't enough in 2021. But, you know, they still at least admit maybe workers should make a little bit more. Uh, what's interesting to me is that Tom Cotton is on board with this proposal. The uh, minimum wage in Arkansas is $11 an hour. So he's not even on board with what his own state has as the minimum wage. Like, they have to be trolling. Like, this, this has to be a joke. Uh, but for more details on this, we go to Jake Johnson of Common Dreams, who explains, formally titled the Higher Wages for American Workers Act, the Republican legislation would gradually phase in a $10 federal minimum wage over the next four years and thereafter index it to inflation every two years. The minimum wage in Arkansas, Cotton's home state, is already $11 an hour. Romney and Cotton's bill would also require employers to use E-Verify, a Department of Homeland Security system, to ensure that companies don't hire undocumented workers and heighten penalties on businesses that continue to do so. Measures that Romney's office said are designed to prevent undocumented people from benefiting from the minimum wage increase. This one makes my blood boil, tweeted Dorian Warren, president of advocacy group Community Change. Romney and Cotton are offering a paltry minimum wage increase in exchange for throwing immigrants under the bus. They think U.S.-born workers will fall for this. They won't. So not only are they lowering the federal minimum wage by $5, in comparison to what the Democrats are proposing, they're trying to uh, sneak in this xenophobic nonsense to suggest that, well, you know, um, it's these immigrants who are taking American jobs, when in actuality, that doesn't bear out in reality. I mean, it's just how out of touch they are that can never be overstated. Let's, let's examine the net worth of these two ghouls for a moment. Tom Cotton is uh, worth an estimated $5 million. Mitt Romney, however, is uh, worth an estimated 150 to $250 million. He is a multimillionaire. This is an individual who owned a mansion that had an elevator for his car. Right, can you imagine having an elevator in your home? Well, he had one in his home for his car. This multi-millionaire ghoul thinks that you deserve only $10 an hour. You don't deserve $15 an hour, which isn't enough in 2021, but you don't even deserve that. You don't deserve to make a living wage in 2021. You deserve $10 an hour. It's almost insulting. And the worst part is that he proposed this with Tom Cotton to basically suggest the folks that they're reasonable. They agree that the minimum wage should be increased. Except you're basically giving people who are seeking the fight for 15 or seeking a wage increase, the middle finger. The fight for 15 is like the bare minimum that workers should expect. The bare, bare minimum, not a penny less. But the fact that you proposed $5 less, an increase of uh, less than $3 than it is currently, is insulting. It's just downright insulting, especially considering your wealth and privilege that you have. You live in a fucking mansion, but yet you think that the peasants only deserve $10 an hour. I mean, this is further evidence that there needs to be a wealth tax and that we shouldn't have 100 millionaires. Like, what a joke. We have people in this country who are struggling to feed themselves and people who have car elevators in their mansions are saying, you don't deserve more than $10 an hour, peasants. Suffer. I mean, what a fucking joke. How about this, Mitt Romney and Tom Cotton counterproposal? Go fuck yourselves. How about that?